When I am trying to pinpoint someone's precise location from the information I see in a video that they have shared with me, I will often use clues like shops and restaurants to help me figure out where they were when they recorded it. But I usually need multiple points of data to do that. For example, if the person happens to be standing in front of a Home Depot store, that alone does not tell me that much. Home Depot has over 2,000 locations all across the country. But what if they also showed me that that particular Home Depot was also very close to an Aldi grocery store and a Planet Fitness gym? Well, that would be far less common. In fact, in some cases, a combination like that can be enough to uniquely identify a place. Because that seemingly random collection of businesses in close proximity to each other can serve almost like a fingerprint for that location. And one of the only places in the country where you find that particular combination of businesses is this shopping center in Joplin, Missouri. And I have been able to use unusual combinations of businesses to locate people in places all over the world. Now, some combinations of businesses are actually much more common. Sometimes that's because the businesses actually have an arrangement to work together. And that is why you will see a Starbucks, for example, in nearly every Target location. But even if they don't have a formal arrangement, sometimes businesses will cluster together for mutual advantage. So if you have a bookstore, it's not uncommon to see a cafe or a bakery open up right near it. And that's because there is a synergy and overlap between the target demographics for those businesses such that each one can take advantage of the foot traffic for the other. These complementary businesses find it advantageous to be close to each other. But what's really wild is sometimes you will see direct competitors located very close to each other. This happens with pharmacies, fast food restaurants, and even with home improvement stores like Home Depot. Home Depot's primary competitor is, of course, Lowe's. And both companies have thousands of locations all across the country. Now, you might think that rival businesses like this would spread out and try to establish their own territory in which they could get the lion's share of the customers. But in practice, that isn't always what happens. Often, direct competitors will end up setting up shop very close to each other. So while Lowe's has over 1,700 stores, nearly one in three, about 570 stores, are located within one mile of a Home Depot. So why do they do that? Well, there are several reasons, but one possible explanation comes from an economic concept called spatial equilibrium. Now, I'm not an economist, but fortunately, I know someone who is. Jadrian Wooten publishes a newsletter called Monday Morning Economist. It's a free weekly newsletter that makes economics easier to understand using insights from pop culture and current events. Jadrian reached out to me recently when he was thinking about writing an article about this spatial equilibrium concept and how it drives competitors to co-locate. And I helped him out by providing some location data for different businesses to help him explain that concept. So if you want to know more about that, go check out the article. I'll make sure that there's a way to get to it from the Jose Monkey place. So tell me, what businesses do you commonly see clustered together in your area? Do those combinations surprise you, or do they make sense for some of the reasons I explained? Let me know in the comments.